All right. Well, happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone had a productive week, staying safe away from this crazy pandemic. Um, I've been, I know I've been trying to do that myself, but it has not been easy. Anyway, well, here's the long-awaited video of the shootout that involves Card is Clear Beyond speaker cables against the Wire World Platinum 8 speaker cables that you see here on the screen. Yes, let's make sure we show that so that there's no no doubt of anything here. Okay, and this is there you go. All right, so everyone's clear on what this is. Um, here we are, different options for XLR. Okay. Okay, so the goal here is to go as straight from the back as possible. I am not using, as you know, the Griffin because it does not like my Cardas speaker cables. So I am going to be using the Luxman. It is going to be the Luxman directly connected to my DCS DAC. No preamplifier because I don't want to lose anything, any information. I don't want to lose, I don't want to have a, to add another circuit that's not needed right now. And uh, I think it's going to be a great assessment. I do want everyone to know that the Platinum Eclipse 8 speaker cables are, you know, maybe 24 hours old, if that is. I mean, that they're not probably what they need to be. I'm sure they're not what they need to be. But I think you guys are going to get a pretty good idea of what they can do. Um, and I'm going to show the XLRs. Again, I'm going to show it for transparency. Okay. And then... For this particular purpose for from wire world, I thought I had the the actual platinum eight, but I have actually a silver eclipse eight, which is two models below. And this is actually two um, two meters, so it reaches from the DAC to the amp. I do have, however, the platinum eclipse seven which is actually probably the better cable to use, but unfortunately it is only one meter and it will not reach um, my amplifier. So I am going to have to go with the, with the cable that is um, the lesser model, okay? So really the fair comparison should have been the card as clear beyond, given the MSRP of, I believe, $5,500 for two meter against a platinum of some sort which is about the same money. That could have been the test. Um, but I'm gonna have to go with the more affordable silver which, because of the length, okay? Now, I know some of you guys are wondering, this puppy has not been here for a minute. I actually sent it in. This is the Odin um, XLR. I actually sent it in to, to Norda so they can take a look at the cable. Um, they actually re-terminated it for me. They put brand new uh, connectors here. Um, that are, you know, I, I, I'm assuming they still need to break into, um, and, um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing with that for a little bit. The other thing I wanted to show you is Wave Touch Audio stepped up to the plate and they sent me their XLR because I am quite impressed. As I mentioned to you in my last video, their, their, but not their, um, unbalanced cable is extremely great. I mean, it's really, really good. So I thought it would be fair. I don't know if I'm going to do, if I'm going to use this cable for this purpose because I don't know if it's going to be fair because of the synergy, right, that we're trying to accomplish here with the cabling, keeping the entire loom of cables. Um, but what I can say is it's very impressive. I may just shock you. I don't know. I shoot this video in three different parts. So right now I'm shooting the part where I'm presenting what I'm about to do. Then eventually I'll shoot the other two videos separately um, of uh, the components, uh, you know, playing music. Okay, um, what I want you guys to take away from this exercise is one thing mainly. Okay, what I need you guys to understand is the following. I know a lot of you go, uh, go about clarity and detail and sparkle and uh, imaging, and that's all good because I am also a sucker for that. However, um, lately I have found that I'm starting to really enjoy 
the, um, the the musicality and emotion a little more rather than the crystal clear sound that comes right through the speakers but doesn't necessarily connect me to the music and so I know it's kind of hard to gauge and to be honest with you it takes more than one song to really start to get the feel for the cable and what the cable is doing so for this particular purpose I guess you guys can judge what you like based on one song but do keep in mind the long-term listening um, of what you think you would like best when you do this um, cable, when you buy any of these cables and use them in your own system. Very different presentations. Uh, Cardas and Wireworld are very different. Both extreme. Both are extremely um, well-built, great companies to work with. I've worked with both myself, really good, knowledgeable people. Um, if we're talking about construction, aesthetically speaking, I got to give it to the Cardas guys. I mean, it's it's I mean beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I mean, this is this is just this is actually probably thicker than most speaker cables out there. You know, it's really really good. I mean, in comparison to a Platinum, which is man, not it's not no slouch by any means, but I mean, look at these I mean, look at this connector. I mean, it looks like a standard and look at that. I mean, it's 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 no it's it's a, just a different animal. I mean, you know, um, same thing, of course, with, you know, Nordos. We know Nordos uses quality uh, cabling and connectors, too. But, I mean, guys, this is this is crazy. I mean, this thing is, is I believe, MSRP for this for a two meter. This is three and a half meter, three meter, actually. For two two meters, is like $18,000 or something like that for this cable. I mean, it's crazy, right? You got something around 18000 more or less. You know, you got this one that's probably, I believe it's like 3000 for this one. This one is $5,500. You got this one, because this is short, but if it was two meter, the same length as this, it's about the same money, $5,500. And this comes in at about, at about the same price as my um, silver, silver Eclipse 8. Okay, so very different price points. Um, and what I'm trying to prove here is that sometimes it doesn't really matter how much something costs. That doesn't mean that the more expensive item is always going to be your preference. I've learned that in many, many ways, as you know, with Luxman, some of the best stuff out there, um, you know, just like a lot of other brands, um, I can name so many of them that, that come to mind. Um, but it, it is really about preference. It, it is really about what you um, want, what you want to accomplish at the end of the day. Um, it is very hard to have it all, guys. It's very difficult to have it all. I, it's impossible. I, I don't think I've ever heard a system or own a system that did it all perfectly. OK, um, I'm actually even torn here trying to decide which XLR sounds best with the Wire War Platinum 8 because it's very difficult to um, to understand what you like best. It depends on the way you feel, depends on what you're listening to. Um, but, you know, I don't want to keep you know rambling about this. I want you guys to hear with your own years and decide what you prefer with the presentation um the levels will be the same guys so as you know the cables the power cord on the amp is going to be the odin power cord on the DAC is also odin too so um the rest of it is just going to be um you know the typical either wire world platinum 8 or uh, card is clear beyond speaker cables okay enjoy the video i'm doing this for you all give me your impressions below please again listen to it all as many times as you want you know, and decide what you think you could live with the longest uh, based on the sound and based on what you hear. Um, a lot of times it's not really the first impression that is going to be the longest lasting one in your head. I've learned that. Okay. Um, here you go. Here's your video. Enjoy. Please subscribe.
Ciao.